Here's what I eat in a day and how I work out in order to lose fat and get lean and toned. For breakfast, I'm having half of a watermelon. I love starting my morning off with a watery, juicy fruit, and watermelon is my absolute favorite fruit. Now, it is winter, and so watermelon and other juicy fruits might be kind of hard to come by, but any fruit, any fruit is an amazing choice for breakfast. Any sweet fruit. I mean, you can get bananas, apples, pears, pomegranate, any kind of fruit for breakfast is a win. Next up for lunch, I had a bowl of pears and that bowl that you see there is about five pears. And I also had a head of romaine lettuce along with that. Now I typically don't have lettuce throughout the day. I've just been including it sort of as an experiment. For a snack, I had a bowl of apples and honestly, I can't remember how many apples it was because I recorded this video a few days ago, but I want to say it was like maybe three or four apples, but you get the idea. It was a lot of apples. And now for my my workout. So today was leg day and I have two leg workouts during the week and this one is definitely the hardest one. So to start off, I'm doing a deadlift here and I do three sets of six to eight reps. Next up, I have a barbell split squat and this exercise, I love this exercise. I love it and I hate it at the same time because it takes a lot out of me, but I am always so sore and I always feel so good after doing this exercise. For this one, I do three sets of six to eight reps. My next exercise is a leg extension. For this one, I'm doing three sets of eight to 12 reps. And I am finishing off this workout with some calf exercises. The first exercise that I'm doing is a toe press. I did three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Sorry, I see that my camera is kind of popping in and out of focus there. And the second calf exercise that I'm focusing on is a barbell calf raise. And this would be better to do if I had a Smith machine available to me, but I don't. So I'm just kind of working with what I've got and I'm trying to keep my balance the best I can. Moving on to dinner, I'm having a large tray of oil-free potato fries along with some guacamole and salsa. And one trick that I like to use for the guacamole is I will actually add a couple tablespoons of water to the guacamole just to thin it out a little bit so it spreads easier on the chips and it goes further. And that is just some store-bought salsa that is really tasty. And of course, I've gotta have this with a big leafy green salad. This is just baby spring mix along with a little bit of cashew cream sauce so it's still very low fat and it is so good. And if you liked this video, click the video on the screen. Here's another video that I think you might enjoy and I'll see you there.